This commenter wants to know why we compare ourselves now to the end of Trump's presidency instead of further back into his presidency. Because you don't just get to forget about the whole fucking last year of his presidency. That's not how any of this shit works. Hey, you guys want to say, no, his presidency was great if you don't look at that last full year. No. You have to look at that last full year. You not only have to look at that last full year and acknowledge the fact that we faced unprecedented times, but uh, also acknowledge the fact that that's why we have elected officials, right? Uh, we put our confidence uh, in these folks that they're going to be the ones that are going to handle those unprecedentedly difficult times. And in, in Trump, we had a guy who said what? I alone can fix it. I am the chosen one. I got the best brain. I got the biggest words. I, uh, the, the most beautiful words. I hire the best people. Right? So you got a guy, you guys bought into, or I'm assuming you're a Trumper, based on the way your question is, you guys bought into the bullshit that he was the best. He was the best at everything he's ever fucking done. I mean, look at his life. Everything he has ever touched, he's the best. Just ask him. You bought that. And then when he had a piss poor response to an unprecedentedly dangerous time, you guys want to turn around and go, but you got to forget about that because, I mean, who could handle that? Well, your boy told us he could. And we are uh, uh, intelligent enough to understand that Nobody was going to make it so that nobody died in this country. Nobody was going to make it so that uh, nobody got sick in this country. Nobody was going to make it so that uh, we didn't have to take unprecedented steps in order to protect ourselves from this virus. However, we could have had a better response to it. We could have had a president that worked with governors rather than blaming governors. We could have had a president that handed out PPE to the states instead of hoarding it at the federal level. We could have had a president who didn't do something that he had admitted to on the phone, which is purposely downplay it as to not discuss the severity of this. We could have had a president that actually went along with the science rather than fighting the science every step of the way until the science was about ready to give him a little bit of credit and then he demanded that that credit be levied upon him in the form of the vaccine. And oh, by the way, once the vaccine was created, we could have had a president that actually bought enough fucking doses for the country instead of looking at Pfizer and saying, you weren't part of Operation Warp Speed, so we're not going to buy anything from you because I'm not going to get any of the credit. Fuck you. The reason why we look at, at how we are now versus the end of Trump's presidency instead of somewhere in year two or three is because we have to take into consideration the totality of his presidency, just like we do with every other president, no matter what they went through, good or bad. You look at the totality of what they did. And that last year... That was a defining moment in the Trump presidency because I am convinced if, if had Trump said, you know what, had he taken to the podium and said, guys, I said it was one guy coming in from China and we were going to have it down to zero cases in a matter of a couple of weeks, but I underestimated the severity of this and we're going to shift gears and we're going to get our arms around this and we're going to do whatever the fuck we need to do. We have, uh, we have authorized the medical community to do whatever the hell needs to be done in order to come up with some type of a vaccine for this. In the meantime, uh, we're going to figure out how to collectively as a nation uh, do our very best in order to combat this thing and get, get our arms around this thing and get control over this thing. I think he would have been reelected in a fucking landslide because America loves winners. But instead, because Trump is the kind of person that can never admit when he is wrong. The moment he said it's one person coming in from China and we're going to have it down to zero in a couple of weeks, or it's a few cases and we're going to have it down to zero in a couple of weeks, he could never take it back and he could never admit that he was wrong. So we had to continue to play that angle as the pandemic got worse and worse and worse. Because he, he, he is incapable of shifting gears and saying, you know what, my bad, we're going to do this a different way. you got to look at the whole presidency. You don't get to pick and choose the presidency. It's not like it's a Bible. You got to do the whole thing. 